leads you through a beginning level upper body resistance routine using light weights. So I have two pounds here. Generally, when we're doing Pilates, arms types of exercises, not on the apparatus, then we tend to use really light weight. So you can start with water bottles or soup cans. You can have one pound weights. You can have twos like me, threes, maybe fives. Um, if, if you're just starting out, then start with something really light and test it out. If you feel really sore or you're unable to complete the same number of repetitions that I do, then you want to back off and use a lighter weight. Okay, because we're doing a beginning level workout, I'm going to do this seated. Um, also, about two and a half weeks ago, I fractured my baby toe up into my foot joint, so I am going to stay seated for that reason as well. I'm not real steady on my feet yet. Um, and I'm not pain free. So I'm gonna honor my body and stay seated. If you are fairly comfortable with um, your core strength and your balance, then you can also perform this routine seated on a, a physio ball, a big um, exercise ball. You want to pick a size where your hips are slightly higher than your knees. And perhaps if you're on a slippery surface, do that on top of an exercise mat um, just to keep you safe. So if you want to bring a little bit more core into this upper body routine, then try it seated on a ball. Otherwise, you can do it on a solid surface, on a chair, or what have you, just like I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to grab our weights. I want you to always have a loose grip with your hands. I want you to always keep the tummy in and posture really beautiful. We're going to start with the arms long by the sides, palms facing the back of the room, and we're going to come into shoulder circles. So you're going to take your hands, you're going to start drawing small circles, breathing naturally, zip up through the belly. We're going to come up onto a high diagonal, and then you're going to keep circling in the same direction and work your way back down. This is nice and slow. This is not a one breath up and one breath down. You're going to just keep breathing naturally, take multiple breaths. If you are seated in a chair or on a ball, if the legs are closer together, you're going to have a little bit more core work. If you want more stability, if you want your balance to be easier, then you're going to take the feet apart and even to hip distance. Okay, so this is our second repetition coming back down. We're going to bring this all the way back down to our sides, and then we're going to repeat this circling in the opposite direction. The tendency with these types of exercises, particularly at this point when we go over shoulder height, is to let the shoulders creep up like they're coming up to be earrings by your ears. We don't want that. Keep the shoulders pulled down. When you pull the shoulder blades and shoulders down long from the ears, you're going to activate your latissimus dorsi, and that's fabulous. That's your back core. We're always after core and Pilates, even when we're doing resistance for the upper body. So again, this is our, our second repetition now with the second direction of circles. It should already start to feel a little bit warmer, blood flowing. You're going to keep the elbows soft. And with control, come all the way down back by your sides. You're going to turn the palms open now. We're going to come into bicep curls. I want you to keep your shoulders, from your shoulders to your elbows as still as possible, and really make this just a hinging movement at the elbow joint. As you lower down, we're never wanting to lock out our joints. So tummy is tight, you lower down, a little bit of softness. You're going to exhale on the way up. I've got a loose grip here. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. And keep going. We're going to try just a couple more. Exhale. Exhale. So we're going to lengthen the arms, and then you're going to lift them straight out. If you can keep them at shoulder level, I want you to draw those shoulders down. Bicep curl like that. You're going to exhale, pull it in. Tummy tight. Inhale out. So with Pilates, you know, we use the light weights for the arms, but if you do this with proper form, you should feel the work. You should feel the work in the upper body. You should feel the work in the core. That's how you know you're doing it right. And if you're really just not feeling it at all, then go ahead and try a little bit heavier weight, a little bit more resistance. We're going to try a few more here. Exhale it in. Inhale out. I want you to move like you're moving your arms through a big vat of peanut butter in every direction, with every exercise. Slow and controlled. Take the arms out. Open them to the sides. Again, if you can hold them at shoulder height, then bicep curl. I want you to try to keep it there. Um, just as with our other versions, you will not lock out the elbows. You'll keep some softness. You're going to keep drawing that navel into spine, and you're going to keep really beautiful posture. 
Exhale in, inhale out, soft through the hands. Um, the softness through the hands should assist you in keeping your wrist long and straight. We want the wrist to remain in a very neutral, stress-free position. Inhale out, exhale in. Do a couple more. Take it out. We're going to turn the palms now like candlesticks, soft elbows. We're going to do hugging a tree. So you'll exhale to the front like you're giving a tree trunk in front of you a nice big squeeze. Inhale, open. As you do this, the chest stays wide. You're not going to curl and cave into your body. There's no contraction of the chest. It stays open, really pretty posture, wide through the mid-back, wide across the collarbones. Exhale to hug. Inhale to open. Exhale to hug. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. I'm going to try one more. Exhale to hug. Inhale, open. And then relax the arms down. Give them a little shake if you need to. Shake out the shoulders. So we're going to make right angles here. So I like to think of these um, like robotic arms or even little plastic Barbie doll arms, okay? You're going to stay very, very stiff. You're going to exhale and begin to lift open without changing the shape of the arm. You're molded in plastic. You're going to inhale back down. Exhale up. Inhale down. And keep going. Make sure you're still zipping up through the tummy. And you're keeping the, the upper girdle organized, your shoulder girdle. Okay, so you're keeping the shoulders pulled down. You're keeping the shoulder blades integrated along the rib cage. Exhale. Inhale. Couple more. On the next one, we're going to hold it up in the air. You're going to hold here. Keep your little Barbie doll arms. You're going to exhale now and flip them up like goalpost and inhale down. So we're working on our shoulders. External rotation here. This is for the rotator cuff. And you're working a whole lot of muscles to stabilize in this posture. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep going. Okay, fold them down, relax them in. Again, just shake it out a little bit. So if you're able to, depending on what objects you're using, you might not be able to do this with soup cans, but if you've got weights or narrow water bottles, you're going to bring both weights into one hand if you can grasp them. Um, this is tricky on a ball, so if you're on a physio ball, be careful. I've got my legs together. I'm going to take my opposite forearm and just rest it on my thighs, and then the arm with the resistance is going to come down long. So I'm looking at the camera, but I don't want you to look up as soon as you know what the exercise is. I want you to draw the head in and keep the neck in line with your spine. You're going to exhale and row this elbow very narrow to your body, and you're going to squeeze that shoulder blade. So I am not rotating open. I want to keep the shoulders squared off. I'm just squeezing right back at the mid-back. So this is fabulous for posture. Inhale down, exhale. So although I'm not locking up the joints, I do like to let my arm get long here. Sometimes that extra resistance will just give you um, just like a, a manual pull there. It gives you a distraction force to the elbow and wrist can feel really nice if you've got tightness there. It can even help stretch out neural tissue if you suffer from carpal tunnel syndrome. Good. Let's switch to the other side. So both hands, you're going to brace yourself. I'm not collapsing. I'm going to pull up and out and draw the tummy tight, but you're just going to use it to help balance and support you. Inhale down. Exhale up. It's a one arm row, but we're doing it seated and supported which makes it really appropriate for beginners. So this whole routine is great if you're new to resistance training, if you're just starting out, if you've had a long hiatus from it, if you have recently had surgery, perhaps you're recovering with um, some shoulder rehabilitation, if you have, you or a client has undergone treatment for breast cancer, 
um, all of those types of things. If you're coming from a place of taking a long break, if you're new to weight training, or you're rehabbing from a surgery or an injury or an illness, then this, these are good choices for you. Okay, so from here, let's, um, let's do a little bit of triceps. Okay, I'm going to turn sideways. You can just do how you are in your chair. Um, again, let's bring both weights into one hand. We're going to come into that same supported position. You're going to keep your elbow in line with the shoulder and exhale, press back. If this is too much weight, you can go to just one. Or again, if, you, if you're using soup cans or something of that nature, you just might not be able to physically grasp both in one hand. That's fine. Exhale, press it back. Inhale in. I'm going to try four more. This way when you wave hello or goodbye, your hand is waving and not the back of your arm. Always a good thing. Again, I'm going to turn over so you can keep watching. You can stay as you are. We'll switch sides. You're going to exhale and press it back. So without locking out that elbow, you want to hesitate slightly at the end here. You want to exhale, press back, and just hold it a little bit. So when we do this tricep kickback, we work all three parts of the triceps brachii muscle. It's great for toning the back of the arm. One more. Exhale, squeeze it back. Okay, we're going to come back to the front. We'll just do a couple more. We're going to take the arms like you're holding candlesticks down by your sides. Soft elbows, shoulders down, chest open. You're going to exhale, lift them to eye level. Inhale, back down. Keep them this shape, bicep curl. This is a hammer curl. And back down. So we're going to keep repeating that pattern. You're going to exhale to lift and lower. Squeeze it and lower. Lift. So this is kind of an overall upper body. We've got some biceps, some triceps, we've got some shoulders, we've done a little bit of chest. So you would alternate this. If you are practicing Pilates, if you have subscribed to my blog at amandascorner.com and you've got my workouts coming to you, then put this in a couple times a week. Okay, so you alternate it with either a legs day, a core day. You can do the mat work that I send to you. Exhale, squeeze it up. I've lost count, but we're going to do a couple more. That happens when I start chatting. Doesn't matter, they're good for us. One more. Exhale up, inhale down. Okay, last one with the weights. I want you to turn them upside down like you're emptying out a soda can, okay? And you're going to raise on your diagonal. You're going to exhale up and inhale down, soft elbows. So this works a muscle of the rotator cuff called your supraspinatus muscle. This is especially great if you have had a rotator cuff injury, if you've had a shoulder surgery, some kind of limitation or restriction. This is one that usually needs to be worked. It's a little muscle. It fatigues easily. So even if you are a big, strong person and you're used to lifting heavy weights, you usually don't need a lot of resistance to get into this one. We're going to try three more repetitions, please. Exhale up. Inhale down. There's so much mobility in the shoulder joint that we rely on the strength of the muscles to stabilize it. Keeps it safe. Okay, we're going to set the weights down. You cannot do this one on a physio wall. You need a solid object. You can do this off of a table, a bench, a chair, coffee table, something really sturdy. If you've got a raised hearth, some people like to do it off of that. So we're going to do a tricep dip. So your fingers will face forward. They're going to come to either side of you. I want your feet hip distance apart, and you have choices. So if you're a beginner, you're going to keep your feet flat. You're going to inhale and bend the elbows close to you. Don't sink down in it. Keep the chest open wide, and exhale, press up. If you want a little bit more, you're going to stretch the legs out, and you're going to come onto the heels. You're going to keep the toes lifted and just be on your heels. Inhale down, exhale, push up and out. Try to drop down evenly, keep the chest open. Four more. You should feel the blood pumping by now. It should be nice and warm. Your arms should feel worked. 
Last time. Inhale down. Exhale up. Good job. So again, that would be a great routine if you're just starting out or you're rehabilitating yourself. Um, try it two or three times a week. Try it for four to six weeks and you will definitely be ready to progress and try some more advanced exercises at that point. Uh, it's great to change things up. So even if you do normally lift weights, it's okay to change it. Maybe these are some different exercises than you normally do. Even if it's with a lighter weight, you do higher repetitions, you change it up. So it's really healthy, it's really good and therapeutic for your body and for your mind. So you don't get bored, you don't want to be stuck in a rut. So um, incorporate some of these into your already existing routine if you are somebody that regularly works out and does resistance training for the upper body. Okay, if you have any questions, you can feel free to send me an email at Amanda's Corner, it's C-O-R-E-N-E-R, -E at charter.net, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.